Wouldn't it be nice, Breck, if we could have a happy medium between the extreme <laughs> drought and these flash floods? I mean, if we could just get some regular oh. weather, that'd be great. Well, we are going to see temperatures kind of regulate in that we're not going to get too hot. And we actually have been seeing a break due to the storms where temperatures once again today below normal. But it seems this has been the scene here throughout the summer. When we do not have the rain, we deal with the hot temperatures and the smoke. Boy, one day a break from the storms, we bring in that westerly flow. We also are seeing that smoke coming into play. A view from our Ochre Mountain camera looking towards Utah County. Barely can make out the mountains, can't see Mount Timpanogos. Air quality has been a little bit more of a concern here today. Now, temperatures, as mentioned, yeah, not too hot. We're still looking at 80s here along the Wasatch Front, low 90s in Ogden. But we're going to see temperatures on the rise. Now, I mentioned the sprinkler situation. Yes, we got all that rain. You can kind of put off watering your lawn, but still, it hasn't changed things too much here across the state where the recommendation still with the phrase strive to survive, not thrive. So keeping that grass so we don't kill it. But yeah, we're getting some help though. I'm sure as you've been noticing a few different shades of green on your lawn here over the past few days looking a little healthier. But again, the recommendation throughout most of the state is just twice as we move here over the next few days. Now looking long range, here's the scenario not looking good. Well, as we look at the precipitation, looking ahead long range, we're looking at below average precipitation. So we're moving to a dry period here, moving ahead. Temperature wise, though, as I mentioned, it's going to get kind of hot, but it goes back down where average temperatures will be about where they should be for this time here, maybe even a little slightly below normal looking across northern Utah. Now that monsoon moisture, again, we've turned it off. We push the moisture towards the east. We do have a little bit of a disturbance it's tracking through Nevada. It looks to bring maybe some clouds towards western Utah, maybe a brief shower near the Utah-Idaho border, but we don't see those thunderstorms coming into play here as we look not only tonight, but really for the next several days. High pressure has been setting up, tracking in drier air, but that westerly flow also moving that smoke in, which should begin to exit as high pressure does move further east. We get that southwest flow, which will actually kick up the winds, and we start welcoming in another little cool front towards the uh, end of the week. Now for tonight, it's 50s and 60s, clear skies tomorrow. Again, sunny, a little smoky across northern and western Utah. Temperatures warming up. We're about where we should be for this time of year, which is low to mid 90s. Over towards northeastern Utah, we're looking at upper 80s, upper 90s in Moab, a little bit warmer in St. George. It's getting hot. Your expected high, 105 degrees. Now we get up to 106 on Thursday. I mentioned that cool front kicks up the winds just a little bit, but then drops temperatures. It's a dry, cool front, which means we're going to be seeing temperatures slowly go back down to near 100 degrees as we look towards Monday and Tuesday. Northern Utah, it's 90s, close to triple digits Thursday, but we don't crack into the triple digits and we do not stay there. That weak front will drop temperatures, bring a few clouds around. Again, it will bring temperatures about where they should be for this time of year, slightly below normal. But as you look over the next seven days, we just don't see the rain.